Custom template creation is an extremely useful tool when producing printed images that require specific placement in printable areas, scaling to fit specific shape materials, and when printing using jigs on various printers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use custom templates in Digital Factory. Once a printer is installed, the first thing you need to check is that your media type is set to template media. To check this, go into the queue properties by double clicking on the queue. Under settings, click on media setup and make sure the media type is on template media. You can now create your first template. To do this, go to the drop down template list near the bottom right of the screen and click add new media. The first thing you'll choose is what you'll be printing on. For this example, we'll print on A4 sized paper. Slots are the printable areas on the template. To create a slot within the template, click on add within the slot configuration. This will enable all the configuration options that were previously grayed out. Let's say we want a slot with the dimensions 1 inch by 1.75 inches. We simply type those into their respective text boxes. If you were using a jig within a UV printer, you would normally adjust the position according to the jig. We don't have to worry about that setting with this printer. We'll adjust the scaling to scale to fit only if larger. If the image is smaller than the slot, it will not scale. But if it's larger than the slot, it will scale down to fit. We don't need any rotation and we want a center alignment for this. When you hit save, you'll see the slot appear in the preview window. We'll name this template test. To maximize the number of slots on this page, you can click on auto slot placement. If you knew you were printing the exact same image in each slot for this template, you would have the slot numbering set to all the same. If you wanted to fill these slots with different images, you would go to auto slot placement and change the slot numbering to incremental by row or column or have the numbering stay the same for each row or column. We'll include a half inch buffer on both sides. To have the slots print more in the middle of the page, you can move all of them by clicking on the jog all slots and adjusting these values to your liking. To see these templates in action, we'll import some images to fill these slots. This dialog box will pop up when you try to import your first image into a template. The whole point of templates is to quickly fill your slots in the exact positions that you specify. So I'm going to click do not show dialog on next import. The templates will then automatically fill the next available template slot. We can go one step further and combine templates with custom cut patterns. To benefit from the custom cut patterns, we'll have to go into our queue properties by double clicking on the printer. We'll go to media setup and at the very bottom we'll enable the option to clip job on import using the template slot cut pattern. If you don't enable this option, you'll be printing on top of the cutout areas, which would be a pretty big mistake. I've gone ahead and input the values for the individual phone case and we'll add a custom cut pattern here. We're going to select example phone case Hit save and then finish up by using the auto slot placement feature. We will use a one inch buffer on either side and hit OK. Click on save to save the new template with custom cut pattern. We can then populate the slots by bringing in a few images. You can see the cut areas are clipped because of the option we enabled earlier. If that wasn't enabled, these areas would be filled with a graphic. That's the fundamentals of template creation within Digital Factory. You can try it out for yourself by downloading a full feature trial of Digital Factory version 10 for free at catlink.com. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catlink's products.